Hey, what's happening guys? It's your favorite fat YouTuber. Back once again, and today you guys are in luck because we are talking about everybody's favorite topic, destruction. Now, come on, you can be honest with me. I enjoy destruction and I know you do too. For example, you're watching a movie and an exotic car is blown up or Godzilla crushes the city with his giant foot or maybe a bad guy just gets his head crushed in by a hammer. Either way, deep down inside, we all have that tingling sensation when something is destroyed, right? For example, let's say you're playing a video game, right? And someone kills you. Noob Slayer 4000 in Fortnite. You pick up your gaming keyboard and next thing you know, you have a hammer and you go to town. Now see, I know I would be an amazing gamer if it wasn't for this terrible keyboard. So obviously, oh hell no. It needs to be destroyed. Wow, that is going to be one hell of a mess to clean up. <laughs> now, come on, you have to admit it. That was enjoyable to watch. We all like seeing things be destroyed, and that's what we're looking at today. Videos where things are destroyed, and it's about to be so satisfying. So you guys probably have a paper shredder at home, right? A paper shredder can shred through anything that's paper, like magazines, Christmas cards from people you hate, and your homework. Well, this will shred everything in the entire world. Hammers, computers, TVs, your cousin, literally anything. And that's why I have to have one for Christmas. Santa, if you're watching, I've been a good boy. Get me this for Christmas. Okay, so here we go. He has a keyboard and unlike me that chose to smash the keyboard, he's gonna put it in his industrial shredder that has metal teeth. And check this out. Oh! Holy crap! It chews through the keyboard like it's nothing. This is me when I'm watching Netflix. You get a big bag of chips, turn on your favorite Netflix show, and then the fun begins. Maybe it's just me because I'm a weird person, but for some reason this is so satisfying to watch. Seeing a keyboard slowly be decimated, the keys come flying off, little chunks here and there, bzing, bzing. If I could take out my anger on anything, it would be a keyboard because there's something so satisfying about hitting a keyboard and watching the keys fly everywhere. <laughs> okay, so that was a simple plastic keyboard. Obviously an industrial shredder is gonna go through it with no trouble, but what about a knife? We're about to find out as he tosses in a cleaver. Oh, this does not look safe. And we have pieces flying in all directions. <laughs> Oh, you better watch out for that. Just imagine how bad it would have been if this cleaver shattered and one of these sharp pieces came flying off into the cameraman's eye. Well, doc, the reason I have a knife shard in my eyeball is because I was, you know, kind of tossing a knife into an industrial shredder and a shard broke off and hit me in the eye socket. Now I'm blind. <laughs> Although I will say it's kind of amazing that this thing was able to break a knife into several pieces. Can you imagine getting your hand stuck in that? Oh, that would hurt. As long as we're talking about potential weapons, how about an airsoft Uzi? Which of course, it'll have no trouble chewing through because it's made of plastic. This shredder may be small and unassuming, but it does a lot of damage, much like an unintentional baby. It may be small and unassuming, but it will ruin your life. The only sad part about this is that he destroyed a perfectly good prop for a YouTube video. He could have painted the airsoft gun up to make it look like it's real and then filmed the James Bond movie. Okay, so this guy must have a lot of money because it looks like he's going to toss a ton of iPhones into the shredder. Why? Sell them. Oh no, they're the casings for an iPhone, not a working iPhone. Whew, thank God. I was gonna say, if you're gonna destroy a perfectly good iPhone, send me one. I'll sell it on eBay and make some money. Then I can buy more potato chips. Okay, so here we have a bed of nails. Can it shred through it? Imagine stepping on that. <laughs> and it goes through it like soft butter. Good God. And that is a hearty breakfast, complete with your daily need of fiber and iron. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know, come to think of it, this actually looks like my mattress. I'm not even kidding you. My mattress would probably be more uncomfortable than that bed of nails. Holy crap, can you imagine getting a limb stuck in that? Oh! Now why bother throwing your old devices away when you can simply shred them? We have an old Samsung tablet. Oh wait, it may have gotten stuck, but no, he puts it in reverse, pulls it back in, and finishes the job. It almost looks like old newspaper being shredded. Incredible, look at it. What a machine. I don't know why I got stuck there. It had no trouble with other things like 
Uzis and wood blocks, but a Samsung device? It must be those bulletproof batteries that don't explode, hmm? Okay, so here we have several iPhones, all in working condition, and uh, he's just going to shred them. Why bother putting them up on eBay, giving someone a bargain that can't afford a new phone? Just put them through an industrial shredder of death. The real question is, why do you have so many iPhones? God damn, that's a lot of phones. And they're all working too, what a waste. I know a little kid would have loved to have had this. They couldn't afford a new one. Maybe grandma or grandpa. But no, just uh, shred them like they're potato chips. Oh, and a pink one. Oh, an imposter. It's a Samsung phone. Mm-mm-mm. We caught you. Again, grandma and grandpa could probably use those phones. They're still using a landline that's attached to the wall with a rotary dial. Okay, cigarette lighters. Now, I'm not sure if these explode, but uh, oh, well, maybe they do a little bit, but still, I don't think that's very safe, even for a giant industrial shredder. And that is a hand grenade of lighters. <laughs> Look at that. It's like uh, little fireworks, little firecrackers going off. Cool. My man went into the gas station and bought all the cigarette lighters they have. Oh, and just tossed them in. Well, I guess that's one way to get people to stop smoking. Just buy all the lighters. <laughs> that is a whole bowl of lighters. Why did you buy so many? We get the idea. And there they go. They do, they look like little firecrackers exploding. Well, okay. You already know someone's gonna walk into the gas station ready to buy a pack of cigarettes and a new lighter, and they're not gonna have lighters and the person will flip. What do you mean you don't have cigarette lighters? I need my nicotine fix. This looks like something else, doesn't it? Okay, stop, you have a dirty mind. All I'm saying is somebody is gonna have a very bad day when they go into that gas station. If you're squeamish, don't watch this clip because this is my worst nightmare. Getting my fingers caught in one of these machines of death. Can you even imagine the excruciating pain? Nope, 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 I would be dead right there. The very second that I realized my finger was caught, I would have a heart attack on the spot. I wouldn't even feel the pain of my fingers being crushed. I would just see the fingers in the machine, oh, and then have a heart attack and die on the spot. And then my body slowly pulled in as I'm shredded up. <laughs> and that would be the end of Beastie. And then YouTube would be a happier place, a much quieter place. Okay, Mr. Rich Boy here is going to put a gold bar through his industrial shredder. But it's having trouble. Even though gold is one of the softer metals, it still can't quite get through. Hmm, I wonder how much that's even worth. <laughs> Enough for me to try and steal it. Okay, it's taking a sizable chunk out of the bottom. Why does that look like a delicious chocolate candy bar? What candy bar am I eating? I don't know, it looks like a chocolate bar, but only covered in gold leaf. Something an LA kid would eat. I only drink Voss water and chocolate bars with gold leaf on it. Oh, okay, well, it got through most of it. Not too bad. Oh, and we have little gold chunks. Well, that's one way to spend your money. It's time for Shredder Inception. What happens when a shredder is put into a shredder? Will the laws of physics stop working? Will the world explode? Who knows? This has never been done before. Oh, never mind. The weaker shredder is shredded by the stronger shredder. How many times can I say shredder? Oh wait, nope, it's fighting. It wants to survive. But can it? Put it the other way, long ways. Not quite. You need to get in there with your hand and really push it down in. <laughs> Don't do that, that's a terrible idea. You'll lose some fingers. And it really doesn't want to be shredded. Oh, there it goes. And it's stuck? What? The mighty jaws of death are snagged on a simple plastic shredder? Oh, never mind. There it goes. Success. Okay, well, for whatever reason, we have a watermelon smoking 10,000 cigarettes. That is a nightmare. <laughs> oh, well, it doesn't really matter. I was going to say he could potentially get lung cancer, but it looks like he's going to die a very excruciating slow death. His bottom is being ripped open by razor sharp teeth. You can tell his eyes, he's in shock. He's like, ah, I need nicotine to numb the pain. It's okay, it'll be over, Mr. Melon. Hold tight. <laughs> so random. What the hell? Why the cigarettes though? I'm sure right now we can hear him screaming if we were a piece of fruit. No, 
Probably not. What a waste of watermelon. You could have done the same thing with the basketball. Oh, cigarettes are almost about to succumb to the shredder. Yep, they're gone. And Mr. Melon is about to be gone too. Terrible. What a waste of delicious fruit. The cigarettes, I understand, but the fruit? I mean, come on, it's a juicy watermelon. Why waste it? All right, guys, so that's all I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And listen, don't lie to me. You know you enjoy watching things be crushed and destroyed just as much as I do. So I want you guys to leave a comment down below. Out of all the clips we saw, which one did you find to be the most satisfying to watch? And what object would you like to put in a shredder if you had one? And also, is it your biggest fear to have your hand stuck in one of those? because I know after watching that, it's now mine. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time, peace out.